Somebody glad their life shout hallelujah. Somebody who is glad they escaped the month of May scream hallelujah. Somebody who have escaped January to May then the month of June, the month of great idea. Raise your right hand, stand on your left leg, jump up, shout hallelujah. Amen and amen. It's a pleasure to know we are all in the land of the living and not in the grave. Like I told the leaders this morning, if you have bread, you must praise it. The Bible says, let everything that's bread do what? Praise the Lord. It means if nobody's breathing for you, you are breathing yourself, the praise must come from you. Is there anybody, somebody's assisting to breathe this morning? If you are the one breathing on your own, if you have breath, you must praise him. So you are not going to assess your praise to the choir. You are going to praise him because you have breath, breath, breath in you. Look at the neighbor and say to your neighbor, neighbor, I am breathing on my own. Say neighbor, say neighbor, I found the almighty God, I am breathing on my own. They didn't plug machine to your mouth. They didn't pop oxygen to your mouth. You are the one breathing on your own. Come on, breathe in now, let me see you breathing. It's too much, you are consuming too much. Now breathe, let me see you breathe, come on. Let's try it again. Breathing. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now breathe out. If you are able to do that on your own, the Bible says you must praise him. Listen, friends. The scripture must be obeyed. The things we read, they are not just there for fun. They are for application. That's why every day, I may not pray some days, but I praise him. There's no day I live to say I don't praise him. Because I am indebted to him because of this breath in me. Lift your two hands with me, everybody. Lift it up to him. Thank him on your own. Use your own language. Use your own words. Use your own words. 
Say it in your own way. Say it in your own way. You have to do this on your own. You have to do this for yourself. You have to do this on your I won't help you. I won't tell you what to say. Open your mouth, open your mouth and thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Rima Gasakatabata. Rima Mama Mariga Baka Baka Maskotoria. Because I can breed on my own. I don't need assistance of mercy or anyone to breed. I'm here to praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Say, what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Yeah. He made the blind to see. Hallelujah. What manner of man is he? Hallelujah. He made the lame to walk. Manner of man is Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Sing Hallelujah. Give him the glory together. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. You are one to be praised. Try one more 
more time. I, I give you all. I give Put your hands together for him. It's worthy to be praised. Come on, it's worthy to be praised. Somebody is worthy to be praised. Is the I am that I am. Is the rose of Sharon in the lily of the valley. Is the bride and the monster. Let me hear somebody scream. I said, let me hear somebody scream. Shout hallelujah. Shake your neighbor and say, I'm glad I'm alive today. Say, I'm excited I'm alive today. Say, I rejoice I'm alive today. Let the living shout glory. I say, let the living shout glory. Let the living shout glory. Hallelujah. Hear yeah, this before you take your seat. It said before you take your seat. Before. Before you take your seat. Not after you have taken your seat before. Glory to God. The song we say says, stand up. Stand up, not sit down. Sit down for Jesus. It's to stand up for Jesus. Stand up. How many of us know that song? Stand up for Jesus. Very good. That's what we are supposed to be doing. You know the song, um, Paulton? Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He's so just of the crown. It's for his glory and power. is not Oh yeah, for victory and to be three is shall be every day. is and and is Service is going to come. We just do only him that day. Just him and him and him and him and him. And we go home. Glory to God. So excited. Now I want to say something. Your potential hands when you die. I don't listen to rap song. I'm sure you know that. But there's a guy. They call him Tupac. Moyo told me about him. Just to be, just to confess. This boy wrote more songs that has not been released, but they can't be released now because he's dead. He's been dead for a few, a few years back now. Your potential ends the day you die. So, being alive is an opportunity to express your potential. Your potential and the things you are capable of doing. The things you have not done, they are still in you. You have not manifested them. I taught the church physics this morning. The difference between kinetic and potential energy. Leave it alone. It's just under the power of God. The difference between kinetic and potential energy. Kinetic is the one you are using. The one you are u- the maximum you have used. Potential is all you can use. 
you see? <laughs> Amadi, you are surprised I know these things. <laughs> Amadi is shaking his head. He said, ah. this pastor now, wow. Somebody say, pastor now, wow. <laughs> Hear this, friends. You have potential. It's in you. The, greatest, the greatest gift your potential can ever receive is for you to stay alive. That's when you can become all I want you to be. It's like going to a buffet. They say, eat all you can eat. Mm-hmm. That's the potential. Does that mean you finish everything there? Mm-hmm. The one you eat is your kinetic energy. The one you eat at. But the potential is everything on your table. And that's what they call Joe. Joe. The energy consume. It's called Joe. I know you didn't pass physics. I don't want to discourage you. Put your hands together for John. Take your seat, everyone. Glory be to God. Take your seat. Take your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Very quickly this morning, I want to share with you on the dynamics of praise, understanding the dynamics of praise. There are many dimensions and dynamics of praise, many. Meaning, what facilitates praise or what mandates it? How does praise come to be? What are the forces governing praise, understanding governing praise? That's what I want to talk about in a few minutes. Number one, praise is an instruction. Praising God is what? An instruction. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, let everything. That's an instruction. I discovered the word let is from the root word let there be light in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3. The same root word. Let. Let is an instruction. God instructed the earth. Let there be light. And what happened? And there was light. So when you hear let everything that has been praise God there must be praise. Just as light responded, praise must respond also. You miss what I've just said. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. When God said, let there be light, what happened? There was no argument. Immediately there was light. Because it was not a suggestion. It was an instruction. It was an instruction. Immediately there was light. Immediately there was light. It was an instruction. Also, in the same root word, in Psalm 150 verse 6, the Bible said, let everything that has bread, just as light obey, Everything that has breath must obey and do what? And praise God. So say praise God. Praise Someone say praise the Lord. Praise Someone say praise the Lord. Praise it's an instruction to every living. Praise an instruction. Praise is an instruction. You have to understand it. And when something is an instruction, you have no choice. You must obey it. You must obey it. It's an instruction. It's not suggestion. It's suggestion that you have, have an idea. No, no, no. This one is suggestion. It must be obeyed. That's why I told you, when you are not praising God, the only assumption of heaven is that you are dead. Because the only people who are excused from praising God are people who are dead. He said the grave cannot praise you, the dead can celebrate you. So when you are not praising God, God's assumption is that you are a dead person. Because that's the only verification of God to see whether you are alive or not. God verifies you, verifies you whether you are alive or not. And his verification is in your praise. Just as I taught us, every medical personnel have things to check to see whether somebody is alive or not before they pronounce you dead. They check out a few things. Just as they check that, God also checked things. And the only thing God checked to be sure you are alive is your praise. So when there's no praise in your heart, in your mouth, 
God says, that person is no longer alive. So every morning you must praise him to let God know, I am still alive. Can I have someone say, praise the Lord? Praise say, come on, say, praise the Lord. Praise so praise is an instruction. It's an instruction. It's an instruction. It's a, let the house of Israel praise him. It's an instruction. Instruction to the house of Israel. The house of Israel must praise him. Does that mean my house has a mandate and instruction from God to praise him? I don't just praise him as an individual. My house must praise him. You must bring your family together occasionally to praise God. You must praise him. You must praise him. You must praise him. You must praise him. It's an instruction. Number two, praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. God wanted to give his people victory in 2 Chronicles 20. Because enemies rose up against them. Every enemy that rise up against you will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear a better and louder. Amen. Whether visible enemies or invisible enemies, known and unknown doesn't make a difference. If they rise and they are rising against you, not for your favor, they will perish for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear a better. Amen. So they gang up against them for nations. The Amorites, the Jebusites, or something. That, did I say the Jebusite? The Jebusite? Is that what I said? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Jebusite, not the Jebusite. Or the Ondosite or the Leishasite. All the sites, they gathered together against Joseph and the people of Judah to destroy them. Let me say this thing. The ultimate goal of your enemy is summarized in three languages Jesus Christ said. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that's why I prophesy against anyone who wants to kill, who wants to steal from you, who wants to destroy you. Before they raise your hand, heaven will destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid of your enemies. On our knees, we are taking care of them for you. Don't be afraid of them. Whether they are visible or invisible, it doesn't make a difference. Don't worry yourself about them. Just keep living your life. Keep enjoying yourself. Tell your neighbor, keep enjoying yourself. God is on my side. Say, neighbor, keep enjoying yourself because the Lord is on our side. And the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be? against us. Who can be against us? Who can be against us? So they gather together against Joseph and in verse 20 of Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 20, 20, Joseph said, O Israel, believe in, Lord, believe in the Lord thy God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophet, so shall ye prosper. Look at verse 21. The Bible says in verse 21, and when he had consulted with the people, you see, this was not, was not an just, it was not an instruction. He consulted. Consultation means let's let's come, let's agree, let's come to an agreement. He appointed singers unto the Lord. And that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army. And to say, praise the Lord. For his mercy endured forever. Look at verse 22. He said, And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, not the army, who? The Lord. So instead of them using the weapons of human beings to fight, God began to fight for them. When you know how to praise God, God fights your battle for you. So praise is a weapon. I tell you. And the Lord sent ambushment against the of Ammon, Moab, and Mosai, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. 
they were smitten. How were they smitten? Smitten with the praise of his people. They were singing, Praise the Lord, for he is good and his mercies endure forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, for he is good and his mercies endure forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he is good, oh, and his mercies endure forever. One more time, praise the Lord. For he is good, and his mercies endure forever. So praise is a weapon in your hands. That's why in Psalm 149, Psalm 149, I read from verse 3. Psalm 149, verse 3. It says, Let them praise his name in dance. So that's why we dance every first Sunday of the month. I don't know how I told you that they don't dance, it's all only to dance. I said, did you read the Bible? They read, they read Quran. Ah. Is this a Quran page? Psalm 149, verse 3. He said, let them do what? Praise him with what? We dance. We dance. I said, oh, they are dancing all this uh, unbeliever dance in the church. Ah, unbeliever dance. How ah, did you know it's unbeliever dance? Are you, are you unbeliever? Or you went to their party. How did you know? How did you know a believer dance? No, how did you know? How did you categorize a dance as a believer dance? Because you have tried it before. David danced and praised God. That is a uh, garment. Because they didn't do zip in those days. Now we have zip. Oh, don't let your garment fall down, please. Put yourself together. But the man danced. The most important thing. And my car, the lady, first queen, sat down, doing man manicure and pedicure. He said, who is that one dancing like that? He said, the king. He said, shameless king. Somebody is dancing for God. In fact, when people are dancing, you are using I Don't let your eyes get blind, though. <laughs> don't get blind. Is that what is wrong with it? See, see the way it's dancing, see the way it's dancing like monkey. Ah, you can become monkey yourself. You just see yourself cry me three. You don't know it's because of the way you look at somebody in church. The Bible said, Micaiah looked at David and disdained her. Disdain him rather in his in her heart. And God said, You are remaining barren forever. When somebody is praising God, leave them alone. No? Let them dance anyhow. The only thing is that don't dance backward here. You are not going to go back. You dance forward. You dance forward. We dance forward. No dancing backward. Everybody's dancing forward. Dancing forward. Because we are not going back. Some, come and say, I'm not going back. <laughs> so once time of dancing started, don't let me see you dancing backward. Though. Everybody's dancing forward. Forward. Just keep going forward. Just keep going forward. Glory be to God. <laughs> let them press his name in dance. Let them sing praises with trembling and up. Look at verse 43. Verse 4, rather, verse 4. Quick, 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 media, verse 4. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. And look at verse 5 with me. Let's go. What do we go? Let the same be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Verse 6 together. Let's go. What do we go? Let the high praises of God be where? And a two edged sword. Weapon of praise is a weapon nobody can handle. You know the reason why? Because whenever God is praised, God's come down. God inhabit the word, the praise of his people. Now, I am not saying like this, I'm praising God. You are not seeing anything because God is invisible, God has come down. That's what God will be looking for. Who is the enemy of this boy? Let me kill him today. 
Because the problem with you is that you don't know God is with you because you don't see him with your eyes. Because if you're doing the king eternal, immortal in what? That's why you don't see him. God, anytime you are really praising God, God comes down. And if God is around, he's looking for who is disturbing you. Is it sicknesses? Is it diseases? Is it poverty? So whatever is disturbing you, God takes care of it. So every time you are dancing today, know that uh, God is coming down because of my, of my praise. Let a two edges who be in their hands. Verse 7 together. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, we go. Next verse. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Let's look at verse 8 together. To bind their kings with chain and their nobles with feathers of iron. These things we are reading is done by two things. By the high priest of God and by two edges word. We know two edges word is his word. He said the word is sharper than any word to a just word. So we're talking about this word. So your praise and God's word. We do all these things. We bind their kids with chain and their nobles with what? With fetters of iron. And verse 9 says word. He said to execute judgment upon them as written. This honor have all they said. Praise ye the Lord. So praise is a weapon. Number four or number three. Because of time number three. Praise is an instruction. Praise is what? Is a weapon. Then number three. Praise is a choice I have to make myself. Sometimes nobody can force you to praise him. You decide whether you want to praise him or not. Psalm 34 verse 1. David said, I will bless the Lord. Not we bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. At what? At all time. Psalm 34 verse 1. It's a choice I've made. Demola. David made a choice. Say, I, not we. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall what? Continue. Every time you see the word, I will, it means a man has made a choice. I will, it means I've made a what? A choice. Ibukun there is a song. I've made your choice to praise the Lord. Mm -mm, to praise the Lord. What's that song? Eh? No, no, no. Instead, I've, I've decided. When did you decide? <laughs> Are you Ibukun? Did I ask for your suggestion? Praise the Lord. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll remember this song. Praise is, is a choice. Now, somebody may say, God, I'll praise you one day. But David said, I'll praise you how many times? At all time. So, why will God not love David more than everybody? God is not partial. I, I, I can't understand God's, God's emotion and God's sentiment towards David. I can't understand. Oh, they said David he committed the most sin in the world. That is true. It's true. If a man commits sin, what does he need most? Mercy. Am I correct? So, David gave to God what he can't give himself. And that God gave to David also what David can't give himself, which is mercy. That's why I said, goodness and mercy, follow me all days of my life. Because I praise him every time also. So, mercy also must follow me. Because I'm giving God what he can't give himself. God must give to me what I can't give myself, which is mercy. Somebody missed something there. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's a choice I must make. 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 A choice to do what? To praise the Lord. Let's read Psalm 34 together. We read from verse 1 to verse 5. Everybody, let's read it. Want we go? I will bless the Lord. Now, put your name in where you say I. Now, if you forget your name, use my name. Emmanuel, use my name. It's allowed, it's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. But when you have bills, don't use my name. When you have bills, don't use my name. Just use my name for good things alone. Glory be to God. Let's go together. Where do we go? Emmanuel, we bless the Lord at all times. His prayer shall continually be in my mouth. That's why I tell people, listen, all this I'm praising God in my heart, it's not, it doesn't make sense. So. He said, I know how I praise my God. It doesn't make sense. So. Did you not read what he said? His prayer shall be where? 
in my mouth, in my mouth. Even when you don't know the song, you do. Be, 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 something. Now you stand like that. Where are you, Steve? Is anything wrong with you? So, some people in church, they just stand there. I can't even imagine that kind of posture. If I'm God, I'll first slap you. <laughs> you. You thank God I'm not God. I'll first give you a dirty slap. Say, why are you standing like that? You didn't see other people dancing and praising me? I can't even comprehend it. You Even if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you see other people dancing. They say, when you get to Rome, you behave like what? The Romans. Yes, you, 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 you see people dancing now. Just join them to dance. Apostle, I'm telling you, you see them. Like prisoner of war. Apology to our veterans. His praise shall continually be where? In my mouth. Look at verse 2. And I tell people, there's nobody assessing the best dancer in this place. You don't even need to dance to music. You can be dancing opposite music. Doesn't matter. Just be dancing. Just be moving. All, we are, all you need to do, dance, is just to movement. Body movement. That's what dance is. Body movement. Go and check the definition of dance. It's body movement. To a rhythm of a music. That's dance. That's dance. Body movement. Hmm? 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> Do you know that I've been speaking in the conference since Friday. I was supposed to be there this morning. I said, God forbid, this morning came. I told the pastor, my engagement ends yesterday night. I flew him yesterday to miss this kind of a service. No. For where? Hallelujah. Are they Chris? <laughs> Are they Chris? <laughs> no, I, I will leave this kind of a service and be somewhere else. Ah. Now who bomb me? <laughs> Somebody said British solo, okay? <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. His praise shall continually be where? In my mouth. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Look at verse 2. Time is going. Verse 2. Time is going. Time is going. Time is going. You know we are on clock now. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Let's read on. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Now, now look at what David did. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. David has made his choice. He was make, asking everybody, please join me in this choice. Let's, let's, let's join me in this choice. Let us exalt his name together. Verse 4, quickly, let's go. What do we go? I saw the Lord and he had me and did what? And delivered me from all my fear. Everything you are seeking God for, you will find them in the name of Jesus Christ. Make it a better aim. So, praise is a choice. Finally, praise is a good idea. Not a good idea alone, it's a great idea. God suggests you to you to praise God. One is an instruction. Two is what? It's a weapon. Three is a choice. So, you must be pro-choice. You must be what? Pro choice. Say I'm pro choice. Yes. You must be pro choice. I've made a choice to praise the Lord. I've made a choice. And praise, finally, is a great idea. It's a suggestion from God. Psalm 92 as I close. 
Psalm 92 verse 1 say, Psalm 92, look at it on the screen. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. It's a good thing. That means it's a, what, it's what, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good thing to praise the Lord. Yeah. When I'm out of great idea, one of the great ideas I'm giving you is what? It's a good thing to praise God. It's a good thing. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. You try it. It's a great idea. I, listen. Paul and Silas had prayed. They did not what? They tried this idea. They did what? They tried this idea. They prayed. When they were in the prison. Second verse. They prayed though. That's why we sing this song. Paul and Silas, they pray. Pastor Bommy, Paul and Silas, they pray. You see? My wife used to be SU before SU, my wife. SU, my wife. How many of us have been SU before? You know there's a way SU club. Paul and Silas, they pray. This. Because their hand must be perpendicular to their chest. As you, their hand must be perpendicular to their chest. Daddy, am I correct? Uh, Paul and Silas, they pray. They sang. The Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they, no, they, don't, they don't laugh. Oh. They pray. <laughs> You, they don't laugh. I'm a you were asked you before. You they don't laugh. You get the, they pray the sun. The Holy Ghost came down. It's a good idea. It's a great idea. And you know what they did? After prayer, they didn't walk. They began to praise God. The moment they began to praise God, earthquake happened. You want earthquake to intervene your case. It's a good, great idea to do what? To try praise. When you have done all the things you know how to do and nothing's working, try what? Try praise. I close with this. Novasi, I shared a testimony about a wedding in Port Harcourt in Nigeria many years ago. So the pastor was conducting the wedding and everything was going very well. So they went into the registry to sign and while they were signing, the, the husband, the groom, collapsed. They thought it, it, was, it, it was a joke. Five minutes, ten minutes. Of course, the, the bride, veil, removed. <laughs> what veil? The mother of the boy. He said, ah, and I said it too. The enemies, they are not happy for my son to marry. Tears everywhere. So the pastor came and told the congregation, let's praise the Lord, God is a miracle. People didn't know what was going on in the place. One hour, two hours. They are waiting. What kind of signature are they signing in the place? They prayed nothing happened. Then the man said, remember a, preach, a preaching the overseer did, that when you have done everything, nothing is working, try praise. And they began to praise God. The boy just sneezed back to life. So if you have tried anything, nothing is working. Try praise. Give praise a chance. It's a great idea to praise God. How many of us will take that idea this week? I'm going to take that idea this month. Tell your neighbor, it's a great idea. Tell your neighbor, it's a great idea to praise the Lord. Now, let me see you use that great idea to praise him. Rise on your feet and praise him. Rise on your feet and praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, press him. Take, take it, take it. Run away with that idea. Run away with it. Run away with it and press him. Come on. Come on, press him. 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 Come on, press him.
Come on, come on. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. Let me see you praise him. Let me see you praise him. You have two more minutes for this. Come on, praise him. Lelele, mama, mama, mama. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise Jesus, bless the Savior, is worthy to be prayed. Pray, praise From the rising up, from the rising up, the sun, unto the going down of the sun. He is worthy, Jesus is worthy, is worthy to. instruction we see the weapon for our advantage is a choice we have made and it's a great idea to praise you and like David said we praise you at all times and your praise shall continually be in our mouth thank you for that Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. tell the neighbor it's a great idea to praise God Say, it's a great idea to praise God. Take your seat.